I joined the Air Force primarily to get uh, help paying for college. I was first doing a job working on the radar systems themselves, fixing them, uh, make sure that they're running correctly. And then uh, as is pretty common in the military, one opportunity led to another, led to another, and I sort of worked my way up to the ability to where now I can use the radar instead of working on it and actually talk to the pilots while they're flying, while they're training, and while they're fighting. What we do is we use, we employ combat aircraft to accomplish missions for the Air Force. So what we're going to do is talk to airplanes and use radar to uh, manage how combat aircraft um, fight or drop bombs or do whatever it is that they need to do to accomplish their mission. To become an air battle manager, I had to go to Florida for a year and practice talking to airplanes first not even talking to real airplanes, just talking into um, simulated airplanes, a computer simulation, talking to other people on the radio who are pretending like pilots. And uh, it's about a year of pretty intense training in Florida to get to your first level of qualification where you can start talking to real airplanes while they're flying around. There's a tremendous amount of responsibility when you're talking to people that are flying in airplanes. They're doing they're doing much more uh, aggressive, potentially dangerous things than, um, than most pilots do. So when you are looking at radar and talking to the airplanes, you have a responsibility to keep them safe as part of what you're doing. And also to make sure that they don't uh, find themselves in a situation where they could potentially get shot down by one of their enemies. If you want to have my job, you need to have a college degree um, and you need to have you need to be in pretty good physical shape, and you need to have uh, not any serious uh, medical issues or um, have gotten into trouble in the past. Go to college, and then you can become uh, eligible to become an Air Force officer. Uh, at that point, you can apply to get a position as an air battle manager, and if you're selected, then you have to go through about a year of training, um, and then you can have that job. Alternatively, uh, you can enlist in the Air Force right out of high school and pursue a job called a weapons director, um, which all, all that's going to require is a high school diploma. You have to be in good physical shape and uh, not have, uh, have gotten in much trouble. Um, and then you can go through, again, about probably a year's worth of training and have the enlisted version of the job. Class-wise, in junior high and high school, um, I was particularly interested in history and government class. Um, probably social studies. Those kind of things got me interested in some kind of a career where I was working in some kind of a public service related um, career. I didn't appreciate how classes like math and some of the sciences would really potentially help me out further down the road. So uh, I got by in math, I got by in science. I probably didn't understand why I needed um, trigonometry for example, at the time. But in hindsight, I wish I would have paid a little more attention, probably worked a little bit harder, because those things can really help you a little further down the road in ways that you can't really appreciate when you're in high school. It took me a little while to realize, to finally settle on um, going into the military as the start of my career, and I wish that I would have figured it out a little sooner and, and possibly gone in right after high school or gone to ROTC and really taken advantage of all the opportunities that the military can offer you for getting your education, whether you want to enlist in the military and then pursue a bachelor's degree, which they'll pay for, or whether you want to do some kind of a program like ROTC, get your, get your bachelor's degree, and then join the military and have them continue to put you through graduate school. There is a tremendous amount of opportunity for helping you start a career, whether that career is going to be military all the way until the end of your career or even just as a way to start another career. The military offers all kinds of opportunities to, to get you started, get your education, and uh, that's something that I really think that young people should, should think about and maybe consider as part of their plans.